how's it going? Rob, Chicken Ranch Homestead. Today, a Saturday, July 9th, we're hooking up the old 8N to our tiny attachment, drag harrow, and we're going to drag the front of the pasture that the sheep and, sheep and donkey were on, and we're going to try to break up those clumps of manure, especially from the donkey. We don't have a manure spreader, so we're not able to take everything from the back, everything from the goats and spread it out on the pasture during the winter and get some good growth. So we're trying to just spread it out a little bit. The birds do go out there, but not all the way. And they really don't do well on spraying the manure. Some people say that they do and they'll show you on YouTube they do, but let's be honest, they really don't. But we'll get to it, spread this manure and we'll go from there. All right, folks, what you see here is my tiny attachment uh, drag harrow. This is a four foot by five and a half foot. I have it reversed right now, so the tines are up. You can see right here, tines are up. So I'm not gonna be digging into dirt. We're gonna mainly use just the bars to spread. I use this in multiple ways. Yeah, you can buy the fence and just drag with fence to spread manure. But this is what I have. So this is what we're gonna use. We have it hooked up to the 8N. And let's see. You can see there hooked up to the 8N, it's to a bent clevis that came from tiny attachments for a different attachment. That works really good on that uh, draw bar for, on the 8N. So we'll get the camera out there We'll film this, and then we'll go back over it. Okay, YouTube, here we are out in the pasture. That's right, folks. He's a big, dumb animal. By the way, that's Riggs. Still got him. He's doing a real good job. We don't talk much about him. He's just not as cool as Toby Dog, I guess. But uh, here's the pasture. We're kind of like in this area. We'll find some manure and we'll unfortunately take a picture of it. Then we'll see what the harrow does to it. But I'm going to do the whole pasture here. It'll help break up some of the dead grass too. All right, this is about a week old, but right there, it's right near the lane. We're gonna see what it does. Um, I know that Stony Ridge Farmer has done this before and showed it, but let's try it ourselves, see what happens. This isn't paid. I'm not a paid person. So I bought the Titan attachment on my own because I see a lot of the YouTube channels that I watch have their stuff. So we're going to give it a try, see what happens. I also read a lot of reviews on this one that a lot of people with horses, we got a donkey, uh, they flip this upside down and do their pastures with it to break it up. So it's what we can try. It's hopefully going to help. I mean, it was a small investment. I think I paid like $380 or something, 360 I'll leave a link down below for it um like i said not paid but we'll see what happens here and go from there by the way tiny attachments ships everything for free no matter what it is even on the scratch and dent it's kind of worth it
Okay, folks, we're done. We're going to go check out that spot. But I also saw this other spot that I hit right in the beginning. It was a bunch of sheep manure. I want to show you what happened there with that. Here we are. Let's show you. Okay, folks, we're here to the spot. Uh, actually, this is donkey. But you can see it's all spread out. It's I drug it. There's probably a couple of deposits here, but broke this all up and made it nice. There's a little bit of sheep there, but yeah, that spread that out instead of just sitting in a pile. I have to say I'm quite pleased with that. That's really spread it out. My chickens will never spread it out like that. Um, we'll check this older donkey scat here and see what this looks like no promises okay here we are did not break it up at all and I might hit that with the tire so it's kind of hard to say yeah I found another deposit I got it with the tire so that's why it didn't break up but at the same time that drag goes over it should but let's talk about this harrow. It works great. It spreads manure really well. When I get it good and solid, not over tires, just in the open range. And if it's not too old, it breaks it up. That older stuff, it kind of solidifies and it's just not breaking it up. If I had the tines flipped over, I guarantee it would tear it up, but I'm not looking to tear up my pasture. This pasture is more, um, this pasture has a lot more dirt showing. It doesn't have as much green as the rest of the pasture. This front piece has always been lacking that. Why, I don't know. It could be something from the past. It, it needs manure. It really does. So spraying it here really makes a difference. Uh, it drags it well with 8N, second gear, full throttle, fast enough. I don't need to go faster and I don't need to go slower much faster I think it will just skip over the ground too much not only that I will probably be um, hurting in the kidneys by the end of the day okay we're back at the attachment as you can see it's pulled up some weed or dead grass but nothing really there was a little bit in there but as you can see it's pretty sturdy it's staying together well I've used this about three times now I usually use it in reverse um, but it's well made. There is some things I'd like to have different, like uh, these hooks here. These hooks where they hook on, where it's a two part. Well, this hook is just jammed with that grasses. It tends to come apart, especially when you're putting it together. I don't like that part. I wish it was a little bit different, a little bit tighter, or maybe they had uh, something that keeps it together and doesn't come off instead of a hook. Almost like one of those circle carabiner type things. Uh, the front there, one of them comes off so you can flip it while it's on the tractor. So you can go over to this tine side. Honestly, you grab it and try to flip this, it's going to come apart. I actually just rolled it right over itself and that's what kept it together. But as I stopped here, a couple of these have come off and I don't like that. I don't want to have to get out and pull forward with the tractor and rehook it. That's kind of a pain. So that's the downfall of this. That's where I'm really not super pleased with this attachment, but that's really about it. All right, folks, I think that's going to do it for today. Tie attachment, drag harrow. It has its pluses, it has its minuses. It's more plus for us, and it can be more plus for you guys too. Uh, if you do not have the ability or you do not want to spend the money on manure spreader to fertilize your pasture, this is probably the way to go. It does drag it out and spread it around, break up the clumps. 
and that should help. I think uh, we're gonna keep doing this for the rest of the year and see what it gives us. And for now, I guess we'll say, pound that like button, hit subscribe, share, like with your friends, all this and that. Now see you again here at the Chicken Ranch Homestead.